Hello, church family. This is the video update for Wednesday, January the 6th, and it's long overdue. It's been several weeks since I've done a video update, and I have a lot to share with you today. The most important thing I need to share with you is that we are going to go back to our 9.30 and 11 o'clock worship services on Sunday, this coming Sunday, January the 10th. So what that means is that we'll be meeting in here at 9.30 and in here at 11 and also at 11, they'll have the video service, mask required service in our North Worship Center. We'll continue to do the live stream as we always do at 11 o'clock. But I know that some of you had been uh, just waiting to come back until we went to two services again. You knew that in one service we'd be more crowded. That has been true. And so we're going back to two services. Hopefully that'll help you feel a little bit more comfortable coming back. The mask required service is still taking place at 11 o'clock in the North Worship Center. However, if you were here last month at our business meeting, one of the things that I shared at that business meeting was our intent to do an 815 Sunday morning worship service that will be mask required. So let me explain this a little bit. Um, last year at the beginning of the coronavirus thing, we started our Saturday evening mask required service. We thought that would help spread things out, um, but it required all of our volunteers, our tech people, our worship teams to come on Saturday afternoon to practice as well as coming back on Sunday morning to practice and to do those services. So uh, for those six and a half months that we did that, it was it, it took a lot of extra work and labor of love on behalf of many folks. One of the other things that we learned in that process was that the Saturday evening service didn't continue to grow. In fact, it continued to diminish. And maybe one of the reasons for that was because the mask required service uh, was, was basically watching it on the big screen in the North Worship Center. If you're gonna watch it on a screen, you could do that at home. And so many of you just decided, uh, let's just stay home and watch the live stream. Well, we wanted to redo that mass required service because we do think that there is something important about gathering together to worship and we wanted to give you an opportunity to do that as safely as possible. So an 815 Sunday morning mass required service will start on Sunday, January the 24th. So we got a couple weeks to go, but here's what it's gonna look like. It's not going to be here in the sanctuary, it's gonna be held in the fellowship hall. We anticipate that it's gonna be a smaller group and if we need to make an adjustment there, we will. But the reason for the fellowship hall, uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One is you can come through this side door into the building and go right into the fellowship hall and uh, you will minimize the interactions that you'll have to have through the main doors and the main entrances and exits of the church. An another thing that we thought was really important was you needed to have a live service. And so I will be there. We will have live service together and we'll worship the Lord together at 815 on Sunday mornings. It won't be a live stream. Um, another reason why we're doing it in the fellowship hall is because we know that one, that singing is perhaps one of the concerns that uh, many people have. And that may make some folks uncomfortable. So we've decided that the 815 service would not include our worship team with all of that singing. There might be some music, but it'll probably uh, be really, really low. We'll just be gathering together and praying and studying God's word and worshiping together, encouraging one another. And so we're doing it in the fellowship hall because that room is gonna be clean. No one will have been in for days. You can come in and out of that side door. And also that allows our praise team and worship and tech team to be in the sanctuary here early on Sunday mornings. So I hope that helps some of you feel comfortable that you can come back and assemble yourselves together and worship together. Uh, I miss seeing so many of you and I hope that helps. I have another little bit of information to share with you. On the 24th of January, we'll resume our Sunday evening worship services. And so uh, for those of you that come on Sunday evenings, you can look forward to the 24th and especially the 31st, which is the fifth Sunday of the month. We're going to have our mission family who are living in our mission home, the Singermans. They will be presenting their ministry in Uganda to us on Sunday evening, January the 31st. So the so Sunday evening services are at 6 p.m. Really hope that you'll come out for the 31st to hear from the Singermans, get to meet them, ask whatever questions that you want to ask. 
So that's a lot of service information and things to think about, but I've got another uh, little bit of information to share with you. Uh, last month at our business meeting, when we adopted our budget for 2021, I shared that I felt the Lord really is opening an opportunity for us to do outdoor services in 2021. Let me explain just really briefly here what I'm talking about. Uh, this coronavirus thing has made it difficult for many people to get out. And church is such an important thing. It, live stream is great, but it's not the same as assembling together so that you can encourage one another and see each other. Um, and just to do that worship corporately. I had a conversation with a pastor whose church had done all outdoor services last year. And he said to me that it was one of the best decisions they ever made. We had considered doing outdoor services last year, but the logistics of doing it on a large scale were very, very difficult because it requires uh, power and equipment moved in and out all of the time. Then you've got weather issues and so on. We did one outdoor service for our 60th anniversary celebration in August. And so many of you came out for that. I heard so many wonderful comments about how great it was to be outside, to be safe, to be, you know, distanced and clean and clear. And, and there is an expression on that day that that would be something we ought to do more often. I don't think this coronavirus thing and the fear that's associated with it is going to go away anytime soon. And I also think that it's a ministry opportunity that we have not only to minister to each other as a church family, but I think there's many folks in our community who, who need to get out but don't have an opportunity to do that, um, just feel unsafe outside uh, in, in closed spaces, but would come to a worship service. And so I, I really want us to consider the possibility of building an outdoor structure by our field outside, a picnic pavilion kind of thing, that we can put power in and we can actually put equipment out there so that we can do summer services outside, outdoor concerts, use it for picnics, use it for youth ministry and children's ministry and VBS. We can use it for a lot of things, but uh, I think that now is the time for us to consider we have an open door to minister to our community and to share the gospel. So uh, introduced that a little bit last month at the business meeting. If, if you hadn't heard that, uh, this is just to kind of get you up to speed, but I also want to let you know that since that business meeting, we've been doing some research about what it would look like to build a pole barn structure or a pavilion structure so that we could do that. And we will be bringing back more specific information to our church family at a business meeting on Sunday evening, February the 14th. So that'll be 6 p.m. February the 14th. We'll have a business meeting. We'll uh, review our finances like we always do, but we will present some more information. Uh, we won't make any decisions. We'll go forward. We'll prayerfully consider all of this as a church family. We do all of our decisions corporately that way. But you need to know where we're headed and what's going to happen on the 14th. I encourage you to be a part of it. We will Zoom that meeting. So if you're not able to be here in person, uh, you can zoom in and find out more of that information. But all of that, those details will come later on. The Lord has blessed us financially. Um, really strong year, great year for missions giving. Um, and we believe that we could pay for a, pav a pavilion, a picnic pavilion, an outdoor pole barn uh, out of pocket without having to raise additional funds. So if this is an open door of ministry that the Lord is giving us, we want to make sure that we're being good stewards of that opportunity. All right, a lot of information that I just shared with you. Thank you for tuning in, for watching. Uh, God bless you. Please don't hesitate to call on us. We want to minister to you. We miss seeing many of you. Um, so please let us know how we can minister to you. We're praying for you. We love you. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.